welcome back to my channel. I'm Chloe and here is my top tips for surviving pregnancy while in quarantine or self-isolation. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my top five tips, well ten but this is five, my top five tips for how to survive and get through and stay sane. So these are things that I've been doing myself to really help me it can be a really challenging time I've learned in pregnancy emotionally so something that I didn't even think of was how it would take a toll on my emotional state so you've got hormones raging through your body some days you're really up some days you're really down sometimes that can even change in the moment as well and I think because of what's going on in the world right now it's really easy to get bogged down and there's just a couple of things that you can be doing to yeah keep your mental state sane and keep you and your body and your baby healthy. So without further ado, without no more rambling, I'm gonna get straight into it. So tip number one is to create an Amazon baby wish list. So this is something that I don't even remember how I found it. I think I must have just been Googling like baby registry because hopefully we are going to have a baby shower in the summertime, hopefully. Well, we still are gonna have one even if it's not in like the capacity that I'm imagining but hopefully we will positive thinking and for that I know people will be like oh what can I get you for the baby even if we didn't have a baby shower people have already said to me what can we get for that you and the baby what are you after and I know from like friends and other family members having the babies that it's just you really want to like help out and you're excited so you want to buy them things and having that one place where you can share everything that you'd really like is really helpful. So like I said, I found the Amazon baby wish list and this is such a good feature. So what you do is you go onto Amazon and you can literally create a baby wish list. It's really straightforward. Hopefully I'm gonna have like a little insert either in the screen or over me now so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. And it's just the same as if you're creating like a wedding registry list. So you can go ahead and put items on that that you'd really like. Now, here is the really good thing. It doesn't just have to be from Amazon. You can literally do this with anything that you find online. So you can find things directly off Amazon, but you could also find things from like Mamas and Papas, any other baby site, well, not even just a baby site, any other internet site you can put things on your registry from there. You can select exactly what it is, what you want. There's a little space to write a note, say if it's a certain size or a certain color that you'd like. You put that on your list and write all those details down so that when people go onto it, they know exactly what they're doing. They click it, it's either gonna take them to buy it on Amazon or on the other site. And yeah, it's just so good. And like I say, you can find everything off the internet there. And this is something I've been doing to keep myself sane because I know that a lot of us right now are fairly disappointed because if you're like me, you love going out and shopping and preparing for things. So I'd really love to be shopping for my baby right now, but that's just not possible in the shop. So I've been doing it all online. And like I say, adding it all to my Amazon registry wish list so that as the time comes closer, we can share that wish list with our friends and family and they can go ahead and purchase exactly what it is. That way, like me or you get exactly what we're after and they get to feel good because they're helping out too. So. Yeah, that was a bit of like a rambly explanation, but hopefully you get it. So yeah, create an Amazon baby wish list and it's just gonna help you sort out your shopping fix for baby. I've got my notes on my phone here. So the next one kind of ties into that and that is to do online shopping. Loads of websites have got sales on right now. Everyone seems to be feeling sorry for ourselves, for each other and yeah, they're just giving really good discounts. So a lot of places have got like 25% off, up to 50%, up to 70% from different places. So do some online shopping and I know that kind of sounds bad because in this moment, most of us aren't getting paid the same and we should be saving money, but we are allowed to treat ourselves every so often. And if spending like 30 pound on something for you or your baby is gonna make you feel good, then just do it. As long as you're not putting yourself into like any debt or anything, then something like that is, it's really good. And I don't know about you, but I love to do lots of research on things anyway. So when I would be going into a shop to purchase things, I wouldn't necessarily be buying everything like the first time I saw it. Online shopping is basically that. You can go and have a full look at all the different range of things. And it's really good because you can keep all the little tabs open and compare things and prices. And yeah, like I said, everyone's having sales as well. So take full advantage of that. So that was tips number one and two. And my third tip to help you survive pregnancy during quarantine is to not be afraid 
at your appointments to speak up for yourselves. So I know right now with appointments, so like when we're going to like our scans or our midwife's appointments, our husbands or our partners can't come in with us. Now obviously we would much prefer to have someone in there with us, but it's just not allowed right now and that's purely for ours and everyone else's health and safety but we can use it to our advantage so I know at a lot of places they don't allow like video recording or pictures especially like when you're in scan rooms and things like that but really don't be afraid to speak up for yourself so I had my 16 week appointment a couple of weeks ago now and that was the first time that I was going to hear my baby's heartbeat so she said that well, that's what we we're going to do and I just said to her I was like am I all right to film it because my husband can't be here and she said yes of course and I've just found that everyone has been so accommodating to that as well so if it's really affecting you don't be afraid to speak up for yourself and be like look my partner can't be in here for this like momentous moment ask nicely and just be like please can I film it for him because this is a moment that we're not going to get back so yeah and like I say I find that most people have been so just understanding and caring and more than happy to break those silly little rules just you know in this crazy random weird and different time so yeah remember to speak up for yourself and we're pregnant at the end of the day so if you need to turn on the waterworks it's going to be pretty easy my fourth tip is to stay away from negatives on social media now there is so much out there about about pregnancy and COVID-19, coronavirus, whatever you want to call it. And I just think you can get down the rabbit hole of reading loads of things you really don't need to read about. So in my personal opinion, your midwife, your doctor, whoever it is that you're dealing with, will tell you what you need to know and what you need to do to be safe. There's no point reading up about loads of different outcomes and loads of possible what ifs and what if this and what if this it's just gonna make you feel really bad just don't just stop reading it like i say your personal doctor or your consultant is gonna tell you everything that you need to know so just listen to them they are the ones who know what risks you should and shouldn't be taking and it's personalized to you as well so don't read what someone's cousin's sister said on Facebook or she shared an article about this and you read it and it makes you feel really sad just no stop doing it and also stop focusing on that as well so if you come across that don't a don't read it b block someone or unfriend them it's it's not mean when it's for your own mental health so stop focusing on all the negative press about pregnancy and corona like i say you will know the information that you need to know and that is all you need to know stop focusing on anything else like that on social media and now i've lost my train of thought see i'm starting to get this pregnancy brain where i just lose my train of thought and can't remember what i was going to say next just have a moment because like I say, with all those things, it's just a lot of what ifs. And you're gonna to be told what relates to you and your circumstance and where you're giving birth and all of that different information. So yeah, take everything that you read like that with a pinch of salt or just try and avoid reading it altogether. Because I know that sometimes I've read things that people have shared and it just makes you feel really bad. So stop trying to look for unnecessary things to make you feel sad and stop focusing on what you can't have or what you're gonna miss out on and start being grateful for all the things you can still do and have and i'm not saying that you're not allowed to feel sad about certain things so say you're about to have a baby like within the next month and you were planning a baby shower you now can't have that baby shower it's okay to feel sad and have a little bit of grief that it's not turning out the way you thought it would but don't dwell on those emotions and focus on the not having it this is the way i wanted it and it's not working out this way focus on what you can do a lot of people are doing like drive-through baby showers in so many years so that's going to be so popular and you're going to be able to say i was one of the first that started that focus on what you can do so like i say you might not be able to have it the way you wanted but you can still do things for you and your baby and one thing that my husband lee says to me all the time is if it's not going to matter in five years time don't spend more than five minutes thinking about it so in reality all that really matters is that our baby is here in this world healthy and happy with us and yep it might not be exactly how we had imagined it and envisaged it but that is all that matters and we should be extremely grateful for that and then my fifth tip for surviving pregnancy in quarantine is to avoid overeating which i know that is so easier said than done because it is something that to be honest i'm struggling with a little bit so i did want to ask for your advice with this one a bit as well so i don't know about you but ever since i became pregnant 
I got hungry all the time. That is like one of my biggest pregnancy symptoms and things that I've been dealing with is just hunger. And especially being in the house a lot more now as well, it's so easy to just every hour like nip into the kitchen, have a nibble here, have a nibble there. But I think just being mindful that you're starting to do that or when you actually are hungry or not is just a really good way to go so actually think about am i hungry now or am i bored and then if you think no i'm definitely hungry one thing that i've found is am i hungry or am i thirsty so the first thing that i'll do is i've tried to up my water intake and i found that this has really helped a lot so i'll have my breakfast in the morning and then it'll get to like 11 o'clock before dinner time and i'm like well, I'm starting to feel really hungry now. I'm trying to like hold off my dinner as late as I can. And one thing I have found really helps is drinking water. Because our body needs a lot of water anyway, never mind when we're pregnant. So make sure you have some water first and that'll really help you to kind of realise in your mind that sometimes it's not hunger, sometimes it is thirst. And like I said, just be mindful of that eating. But I would also appreciate any tips that you have for avoiding overeating during pregnancy when you're just in the house all day with food when there's not a lot to do so yeah if you have any comments or suggestions on those things leave them in the comments below along with any other tips that you might have for staying sane during pregnancy during quarantine so that is going to be all my tips from today i hope you have enjoyed watching there are going to be many more videos to come on my channel relating to like the pregnancy journey that i'm currently going through i am 18 weeks today and i am going to be doing some more update videos so stay Stay tuned for those and I'll see you all in those ones. Bye!